Hi, good day everyone. Today, I'll be showing you a video tutorial for Zapier and how to create your Zap. So what is Zapier, by the way? Zapier is an online automation tool that connects your favorite apps such as Gmail, Slack, MailChimp, and more. With Zapier, there are thousands of different workflows you can create. When you create a new Zapier account, you're instantly enrolled in a free 14-day trial of Zapier. This trial allows you to try out paid Zapier's features. When your trial expires and you haven't upgraded to a paid plan, you'll be automatically downgraded to a free plan, which you can continue creating two-step Zaps. So let's start creating our Zap. The first thing you'll need to do is go to Zapier.com and sign up for a free account. So we click the Get Started button now we type in our name, our email address, and a password, or you can simply use your Gmail account or Facebook account to create logins to Zapier. Once you're done creating your account, you will now be routed to your dashboard. Here you can quickly build a Zap and see some popular Zap templates, pre-made Zapier workflows. Now to create your first Zap, we click the Make a Zap button on the upper left-hand corner, the next page will ask you to choose the app and event you want to automate. As you can see, there are already built-in apps by Zapier that you can directly choose or some popular apps you want to automate. Let's say I want my Pinterest to be automated by Zapier. So we can simply search on Pinterest. We click on it. So here, Zapier will monitor my Pinterest and my Pinterest will trigger a Zap when a new board is added. So we click on continue. Next, we will need to connect my Pinterest account to Zapier. So we click on sign into Pinterest. Once we're done giving permission to Zapier, we will now select continue. Then we can pull a sample by simply selecting test trigger. Here we can see the data that Pinterest is sending to Zapier. It looks good to me, so click continue and add our second steps. So here we can choose our action service. Let's say we want to get notified on our Google Drive. So let's search Google Drive. We click in Google Drive. And let's say I want Zapier to automatically create folder, create a new empty folder once a new Pinterest board is made. Then after that, I hit continue. Then I'll sign in to Google Drive to give my permission to Zapier to access my Google Drive. Once we're done giving permissions, let's click continue. So to start customizing our folder, we need to select the drive to use. So we click on my Google Drive. Now we're going to create parent folder. I have already created a folder for my Google Drive for my Pinterest. So let's click on Pinterest folder and we can now type or insert our folder name. Let's select new board in Pinterest. So we can now type or insert our folder name. Let's choose my Canva works. Let's click on this. And then after that, we select continue. Then we click on test and review to check if it's working. A test folder was sent to Google Drive just now. Let's check our Google Drive. Let's click on Pinterest folder. Great, there you have it. I can see they have created a new folder for my Canva works. So after that, we click done editing. Then make sure to turn Zap on. Click on that button. So there you have it. You can see from your dashboard, your Zap workflow. The name of our new Zap workflow is Pinterest to Google Drive. So Zapier will start collecting your new Pinterest board posted and send it to your Google Drive. So that's pretty much it. These are the basic steps in creating your Zap workflow in Zapier. So I hope you find this useful, guys. Thank you for watching my video tutorial. God bless everyone. Bye.